Right guys, today we are at Shrek Adventure in South Bank. Look, I've always walked past this place. I've always wondered what is Shrek Adventure. So today I'm being a big kid. I'm going to check it out. So come with me. Let's go. So guys, entry to this Shrek's adventure only cost me £21. That's right people, £21 for the 70 minutes interactive Shrek adventure tour. I am absolutely buzzing. So, as soon as you get there, there's so many things that grab your attention. You have the opportunity to win some sweets, win some toys, you hear Shrek music playing in the background, it gets you absolutely excited, it gets you absolutely buzzing and it makes you wonder what is this tour all about. This phone was awesome, somebody called me and asked me if I wanted waffles, waffles? How are they going to bring me some waffles? So anyways, as I started walking through, you got things on your right, things on your left, things in front of you, things behind you, things to read, it was just ex exciting from the get go. So this is the beginning of the tour, you have the opportunity to take a picture with Shrek and Princess Fiona. So if you're a big fan, take the opportunity to get a picture done. So just like any tour, you have introductory talks. So this woman was absolutely fantastic at her job. She got everyone engaged, she got everyone up and buzzing. You know, it doesn't matter who you're with, it doesn't matter how old you are. Make sure you get yourself involved and make sure you keep yourself excited. So, on my way to the first room now. So the first room was an introduction to the Shrek Adventure Tour. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture much footage because it was way too dark. However, the second room was the most exciting, exhilarating room ever. This was a 3D simulator experience. This was absolutely fantastic. So currently, I have 3D glasses on and I'm seeing things everywhere. I'm seeing things to my right, I'm seeing things to my left, I'm seeing things in front of me things behind me you've got witches flying on brooms you've got you've got panda bears flying everywhere you've got fireworks the noise this was my favorite room this room absolutely got me buzzing i was excited for the whole time so what i loved about this tour was that there were so many things to keep your attention engaged so the things to your right things to your left it, it was just it was just crazy so this was the third room, this is all about the royal family and what I loved about this interactive tour was that they always try to get people involved. So preferably kids but you know if you're an adult it doesn't matter you still can engage in this tour, you can still put yourself forward and see what's going to happen. So this room follows the theme of there's a storyline, so from one room to the other, there's a big story that builds up. Again, this room was my second favourite room. This room was absolutely fantastic. I got myself involved in a little song, you're about to see it right now, a little cheeky song and a little dance. There we go. Doesn't matter how old you are, make sure you get yourself involved. Again guys, I apologise for the poor lighting, nothing I can do. I couldn't stop their whole production at all and tell him put on the light so I can record. If you're a big Puss in Boots fan, you'll definitely love this room. So room six is all about 
Pinocchio and this was called the Wheel of Torture. So this room was an interactive quiz. So this fella was answering questions, was sitting on a seat, you're sitting down and you've got buttons on your right and on your left. He would answer your question and all you have to do is answer A or B. To be honest, I got most of the questions wrong. So, from that room, guys, this room was pretty crazy. So, what is happening is there's mirrors everywhere. I can see myself in all sorts of directions. I can see myself to the right, to the left, in front of me, above me. I was thinking, what's going on? I didn't understand. I was so confused. This was scary. Ghost baby. Room seven. I call this a screaming lady because all she done was scream, scream, scream. So room 8 was all about the gingerbread man and if you're a big fan of the gingerbread man then you will definitely love room 8. After leaving that room, we had the most crazy experience. I don't know what was going on here, but there was a group of us stood in the circle and then the room just started spinning and spinning and spinning. I'm looking around thinking, wow, this is pretty intense. As you can see, there's colors going off everywhere. There's things moving on the wall. If I was about five or six years old, I definitely would be holding onto my mummy's hand. So moving on to the final room, this was room 9, so everybody sat down, it feels like we're in prison and there's characters coming up on the screens and then something really 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 cool happens in this room, keep watching, just keep watching. That's right people, it felt like there were rats underneath us so everyone got scared, everyone started screaming, it was just the weirdest feeling ever. So guys, at the end of the tour, something really amazing happens. Keep watching. Guess who comes out? Guess who comes out? That's right, people. Shrek makes an appearance and you get to take a picture with him at the end, which you can pay for and get a frame and pull it on your wall just to remind you of the wonderful day you had at Shrek's adventure. But that's not where the fun stops. There's a room afterwards that you can go to and have so much more fun where you can take lots of pictures and dance the light away.
and the fun still continues. This game was pretty cool. You get to train how to move yourself like a kung fu panda. It was very hard and very difficult. As you can see, I was absolutely struggling. It was so difficult. So before you leave people, you have the opportunity to go into the store and buy yourself some gifts. They had lots of cuddly toys available. You can buy Shrek, you can buy Princess Fiona, you can buy the Gingerbread Man. Not only that, they had a lot of merchandise as well. So you can buy yourself some t-shirts, you can buy yourself some mugs, you can buy yourself some cups, you can buy yourself some Shrek clothes. All to remind you of the fantastic day that you had at Shrek's Adventure in London. But also, you can buy yourself a mini Shrek toy. Who wouldn't want a mini Shrek toy? They're rude, you know, try to charge me £15. I'm still going to have like a digital picture of it, like, like But in all honesty, people, no matter how old you are, I'll definitely say this was a fantastic experience. I enjoyed my day thoroughly. Come with your friends, treat your little brother, treat your little sister, treat your mum, treat your dad, treat anyone. Come enjoy the day at South Bank. London, Waterloo, Shrek's Adventure. I give it two thumbs up.